team? Welcome to Training Camp Fitness. My name is Coach Ari and I'm going to be leading you through this workout today. Today's workout is a plank challenge. You can do this workout anytime. You could do it every single day if you wanted to. No harm in doing that. First of all, it's a great workout for you to stack with other workouts in the TCF On Demand Library. You have tons of other cardio workouts in there. Second of all, you also should warm up before this workout. I've got a great dynamic warm up for you. We also have an upper body warm up that would be wonderful for today's, and I've paired it specifically with this workout for you. They are on the same post. So let's get ready to work. If you've done a plank challenge before, my watch is yelling at me because we're, we're ready to go. Um, I've got the timer on my watch here today. If you've done this workout before, you know that we're gonna work for four minutes at a time. Okay, so we've got four exercises and we're going to do those exercises 30 seconds each. We're gonna do two rounds and we'll work for four minutes before we rest. If at any time you take a break and we will get a rest break in between, then we're gonna go for a second round. Feel free to do a third round, but your shoulders definitely are going to be on fire. I'm just warning you, just warning you, don't say I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna demo those four exercises for you and of course, options, modifications along the way. Here we go. We've got a moving plank on the bench to start. I have a mat here because I'm, I'm gonna put my elbows on the bench, so you may wanna grab your mat. I am using a bench for the whole workout today. If you do not have a bench, that's fine. You can do everything on the ground, but it's gonna make it challenging having the bench here, and uh, I highly recommend it. So grab yourself a step or a bench. Okay, we're gonna start with our moving bench plank. So we're gonna to move to the right and move to the left. We'll be here for 30 seconds. Every move is intentional today, okay? Next, you have a bare plank on the bench. So I'm actually gonna put both feet around the bench, grabbing the bench on either side. I'm gonna jump my feet up and back down into a plank. So up into bare pose and down into a plank. These don't look hard, they are deceiving. Okay, next, we've got a plank rock. We're gonna get on our forearms, and we're gonna rock back and forth, back and forth, okay? Next, last but not least, we have a decline mountain climber. You may be familiar with this. Feet are on the bench. This is one from the eliminator, and you're gonna bring your knee into your chest. Okay, again, all of these exercises can be done on the ground, but having the bench is going to just add a level of complexity to it. We have 30 seconds each move on the clock. I'll guide you through it, okay? We're starting with our moving bench uh, plank, so let's get ready, okay? Here we go, team. All right, we take off in three, two, one, 30 seconds. One, two, three, as far as you can go. Squeeze your core. One, two, three, squeeze your core. The whole time, your booty is out of the air. Keep breathing. Back and forth. Okay, here we go. One more, and we're going to our bear hop. Okay, we'll call it a, a bear hop. Here we go. So you're getting up into tabletop. Your option here is to walk it up, walk it out. When your feet come down, so should your booty. Okay, so drop your booty out of the air. Hop up, squeeze, hop down. Woo! Two more. Hop up. You can walk it down if you need to. Okay, moving right along. Plank rock. Let's go. So, you start elbows over, right under your shoulders, rocking forward and back. Are those arms starting to light up? Woo! Option, of course, you're on your knees. Okay, rock forward, rock back. This one's not as difficult because you're not gonna have as much core engagement back here. Last one, here we go, flip it around. Decline mountain climbers, feet on the bench. Okay, knee comes into chest, hands underneath you. Again, option here, do this on the ground. Holy moly, whoo, 
15 seconds. I told you this is deceiving. Last few right here. Last two, last one. And we go right back into our moving plank on the bench right here. We're not done. Wrists right underneath shoulders. Round number two. We've only worked for two minutes so far. So sweaty. So sweaty. You have 10 seconds. Keep moving. The goal is to go slow and controlled when it, we're in planks. Okay? Slow and controlled. Okay. We are plank jump right here. Pop it up. Hop it down. Or step it up. Step it down. Again, if you're doing this on the floor, it would be a plank to a bear. Plank to a bear. Plank to a bear. Oh my God. 10 seconds left. Keep going. Keep going. Last two and plank rock. Here we go. Forearms forward and back. Forward on your toes and back. Forward, back. Once again, you could also be right here on your feet. You are halfway through. You could be right here on your feet. Last one, decline mountain climber. Two more rocks and transition. Feet on the bench. Pull, pull, pull. This is practice, remember? If you need to get down on the ground, you get down, but then we get right back to work, okay? We get right back to work. Beautiful team, let's go. 15 seconds left. I lied. You have three, two, one. Relax. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was really tough. You got one minute of rest. Shake it out, shake it out. Get your water. I told you I was not lying. I was not lying. If you wonder where I come up with this stuff, in my dreams, I have no idea, no idea. All I know is that planks are so, so good for building your upper body strength, as well as your, just your total body strength, and guess what? Your endurance, your endurance and stamina. So if you're someone who is looking to gain that endurance and stamina, right? You're all athletes here, so you wanna live a more energized lifestyle, this is the place to do it. Okay, here we go. Moving plank, and we go. You only get one minute of rest. That's it, one minute of rest. Remember, stillness is highly underrated and highly criticized. Keep it moving, keep the hands underneath the shoulders, okay? I don't wanna see you back here. Pop your booty down. And here we go, bear plank, go. Pop, okay, again, down here, you wanna get your booty down into a plank, okay? I want you to avoid, okay, we can also do this, but I want you to avoid this and this. So that means when we come in, suck the booty down. 10 seconds, you can do it. You know why? Because you showed up to work today. You showed up to work. Plank rock, here we go. 30 seconds, up and back. On those tippy toes, up and back. Up and back. Take a break, catch your breath. Flip your ponytail, get back to work. We practice every single day with intention, and some days are gonna feel better than others. That's okay. Last one, decline mountain climber, feet on the bench. Now, you can make this extra spicy and make it a Spider-Man, bringing your knee towards your elbow. Oh 
my gosh, what's wrong with you, Ari? What's wrong with you? <laughs> 10 seconds, you have 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. This is hard. I'm not perfect, far from it. That's not why you come here. <sighs> Rest. Go right back into your moving bench plank. Right here, move, move. I don't know about you, but I want a coach who's authentic also. I need a coach. I don't work out by myself all the time. I seek out other people who are gonna push me, but who are also gonna keep it real with me. There's no BS here. Oh my gosh, okay. We are plank jump. Let's go. Last time you'll see this move. Up, up. You need a blast a playlist for this one. Can you be quiet? Can you land your feet softly? 10 seconds, how are those shoulders doing? Step it up, pause, step it down, pause. Here we go. Plank rock. And we go forward, back, forward, back. I am shaking. I'm shaking. Who's shaking? Oh my gosh. Holy mother of God. 10 seconds. Embrace that shake. I'm right here with you. This sucks. <laughs> okay, decline mountain climber. Feet underneath you. Eventually, your goal will be to see how long you can go without dropping your plank, right? How long can you go without dropping your plank? Oh gosh, oh gosh, booty in the air. Okay, you got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds, keep working. Three, four, five, and rest. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so freaking hard. Wow. Is your heart rate up? Mine is. I always tell you my Garmin heart rate lies. Never use your actual watch as a heart rate monitor because it's just not that accurate. Apple is decently accurate, but um, Garmin, not so much. It's more of a running watch. Catch your breath, shake it out. Let's roll those arms back. Again, if you haven't done that upper body warm up, it also makes a great cool down and you can hold those stretches a little bit longer each round. Especially after you're warm, you've got all the blood pulled to your muscles. Man, I'm sweating. Bring your arms behind you. Oh goodness, I can barely clasp them. Pull your shoulders back. Pull, pull, pull. Amazing work today. Amazing work today. Remember, you can pair this with any workout or just do it as a standalone workout. Not every day it needs to be an hour of movement. Shouldn't be an hour of movement. Listen to your body, okay? Rest days and actually doing active recovery days where you take the intensity down a notch is gonna deliver you the best results and it's gonna make sure that you're not overtraining. Okay, team, remember, train hard, work together. Teamwork makes the dream work and fuel your body properly. I'll see you in the next workout. Have a wonderful rest of your day.